Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio, my name is Tuzik. In today's episode of Ad Page Properties, we're going to learn configuration of input field default value. I'm working with a project I created by name Input Project. On your left, under the Database Tables section, click on any subsection or table of your choice. This project has only one table which is Products Table so I'm going to click on it. On the next column, under the Product Pages section, select Add Page. On the Add Page Field column, as we can see, we have various fields under the selected table. I'm going to maintain the name field and we are going to use this for our tutorials today. On the fourth column, we have the name field properties column. On our previous tutorials, we started with text box and we explained text box type and autocomplete data source. Today, we are going to work with default value and by default, this particular field is set to none. Let's publish and preview our project in browser. Navigate to the table we selected initially and click on Add New Products button. Click on the name field and by default as we can see, all field value is empty by default. Let's drive back to Rad System Studio. We can assign a default value to a field by clicking on the downward arrow. By default, when you click on the downward button, Rad System already provides us with several default values. Let's set the default value to daytime underscore now. Let's publish our project and preview our project in the browser. Refresh page and navigate to the table we initially selected and as we can see under the name field, the default value of the name field is set to the current date and time. We can also set the default value to guide 4, let's publish our project and preview our project in the browser. And as we can see on the name field, the default value of the name field is set to a unique random value and it continuously generates unique random values for each time we refresh the page. This is a conducive way of providing our clients with unique identifiable values or keys. Let's drive back to Rad System Studio. We can also assign the default value to be a random string or a random number or a random character or even a random color. Let's assign the default value to random underscore color and let's publish our project and preview our project in the browser. Navigate to the table we initially selected, Products, this is going to automatically generate RGB color format. As we can see, on the name field, the default value of the name field is set to a unique random color value. We can copy the generated RGB color format and use it for our card design. Also, we can manually assign any text of our choice as the default value, for example, Set the default value to hello. Let's publish our project and preview our project in the browser. Refresh page and navigate to the table we initially selected and as we can see, the default value of the name field is set to hello. We can also set the default value to be the username. Assuming we enabled authentication, this is going to help us set the default value to the client's username or user ID or user photo or even user role, depending on what's suitable for us. Now we've learned how to use input field default value. Most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thanks.